Hey guys, this is Jeff again from MMA Shredded, and this is a guest post for the Muay Thai guy. Hey everyone, it's Jeff Chan from MMA Shredded, and today I'll be showing you eight tactics used by Giorgio Petrosian. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tactic one, push your opponent back into a strike. Petrosian used this against Fabio Pinka, Robin Van Roosmelen, David Kyria, Zabar Askrov, and many others. Petrojan will have a tight guard and use his forearms to push his opponent back and throw a low kick to the lead leg, a roundhouse kick to the body, or a hook cross combination. Petrojan will do this to aggressive opponents moving forward and he'll use this tactic to push them back. Another great benefit by pushing his opponent backwards is his opponent must balance himself by standing on his two feet on the ground so he doesn't fall over. That is when Petrosian will kick the leg because his opponent cannot lift his lead leg to check and balance at the same time. Or Petrosian will push his opponent back into a rear body kick or a punching combination. Here it is in my sparring. And here is a failed attempt. Tactic two, the step in rear knee. This was used against Mike Sambitis, Zabar Askarov, Albert Cross, Enrico Kale, and many others. Petrojan will take a step forward and close the distance. Use his rear hand to pull the top of the head down to break the posture and launch a powerful rear knee into the body. Here it is in my spot. And here are some failed attempts. Tactic three, the low kick to the rear leg. This was used against Fabio Pinka, Andy Sauer, Robin Van Roosmelen, Zabar Askarov, Albert Cross, and many others. Petrojan is a southpaw fighter and will kick the rear leg of his orthodox opponents. He does kick the inside front leg as well, but the inside front leg is high risk to a inside check and low reward compared to the outside rear leg, which is low risk and high reward. Fighters don't often check the rear leg and they also don't get hit there as often, causing more damage. If he sees that his opponent lifts his rear leg to check, he will then turn the kick into an inside lead leg low kick. Here it is in my sparring, but done in orthodox stance against a southpaw fighter. And here it is done in an orthodox stance against an orthodox player. Tactic 4, lead hand control to a rear kick or cross. Petrojan uses this against Zavar Askarov, Wakao, Mike Sambitis, Josh Johnson, and many others. Petrojan will use this tactic against an orthodox fighter. By controlling his opponent's lead hand, it will lower the opponent's lead hand defense and the opponent's lead hand offense. It can also off-balance the opponent by pushing him forward. 
The Trojan will control the lead hand and launch the cross or he will launch the rear body kick. Here it is in my spot. Tactic 5. Underhook brush the teeth, off balance the opponent, and cross. This was used against Arthur Kishenko, Fabio Pinka, Josh Johnson, Boakow, and many others. To counter a left teep kick, Petrojan will underhook brush the leg, off balance his opponent by lifting the leg up and pushing forward, and he will throw a powerful cross down the middle. Here it is in my spine, but I go for a cross to the body. Tactic 6, the right hook counter. This was used against David Kiria, Josh Johnson, Yuya Yamamoto, and many others. Petrojan will throw a powerful and fast right hook as his opponents come forward with an attack. Here it is in my spot. Here's a failed attempt. Tactic 7 The cross versus inside or outside low kick. Used against Zabar Askarov, Andy Sauer, Josh Johnson, and many others. A very basic yet effective tactic, Petrojan will catch his opponents off guard with a strong cross counter off the low kick. He will flex his lead thigh and eat the low kick to catch his opponent while he kicks. Here it is in my spark. Tactic 8, hook cross or hook cross hook combination. Just to name a few, Petrojan uses this against Boakow, Mike Zambidis, Andy Sauer, Albert Cross, and Yuya Yamamoto. With perfect precision and technique, Petrojan will throw a hook cross combination. He throws a hook to open the middle of the guard a bit and cross right down the middle. Sometimes he adds a hook after the cross. Very basic but very effective. Here it is in my spine. I have lots of footage as it has been very effective for me. Thanks for watching guys. If you liked it, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to our channel for weekly content and to our mailing list for exclusive content as well as follow our Instagram page at MMA Shredded.